Our frogs are in serious trouble. And the only way we can address that is to, at first, get to know the frogs. Our research group focus on well-being of amphibians. We have currently um, just over 20 postgraduate students in our group and we work on various aspects of amphibians uh, from conservation, species descriptions, right through to parasites, diseases. One of our projects is to develop an app, uh, application for tablets and cell phones and uh, the idea of this app is to have a tool on your mobile phone or your tablet that you can use in the field to identify frogs. But more than that, uh, we're going to ask the public to assist us in our research through citizen science by gathering data for us. Say you want to identify a frog, then you select that, that option and then the app will ask you four questions. Firstly, the pupil of the frog, is it vertical, horizontal or circular? Uh, the webbing, the toe tip and then uh, a tubercle or a wart on the foot. And if you answer those four questions and then together with your GPS locality, the app will tell you, okay, you have this frog or it will give you a choice. It's either one of these two or three frogs. But it was a tremendous job. We had to, to collect more than 1,600 photographs. On this, one of the, the expeditions for the app was to go and find a ghost frog. This meant that we had to climb waterfalls and search for hours. We were actually quite lucky. We searched for about two hours and we got it, which is a record. I mean, usually you, you search for hours on end and then don't find any. More than a third of our frogs are endangered and endemic to this part of the world. And we hope that through this app, we will contribute to making frogging more accessible to the general public.